only given up, only given up uh, what was it, four hits tonight? Yeah. Oh, so good job. Uh, I talked to Coach uh, last night. He said you were going to be on a little bit of a pitch count. Uh, was that the case? I mean, he kept you in there through seven, so. Uh, or did he just trust you in your arm to let you, let him know when you were getting tired? Uh, I think it's seven both. Pitches. I think there was a pitch count, but in the second, in the seventh, uh, I wanted to fight through it, but Chase came in and finished the game. Pretty yeah. Uh, Chase Ogle came in in relief in the seventh. Uh, Logan went seven and a third. So nice job, only giving up four hits. We um, we gave you the player of the game tonight, but no doubt uh, your teammates here, Creighton oh, yeah. and uh, we, Michael uh, Richardson in center had an awesome diving catch out there. So yeah, your teammates backed you up pretty well tonight. Yeah, that catch in center helps and uh, even uh, looks good on the show. Good. <laughs> How's your arm feeling? It feels good. It's like rubber. Good. Okay, cool. So, um, at the plate, um, let's see, tonight, looks like you were, uh, you had a walk, a strikeout, and, let's see, did you get on in your last event? Yeah, I bunted. Yeah, you bunted, that's right. Yeah. That was the bunt that got on. So, we saw a lot of bunts tonight, yep. and Coach talks about how everybody on the team's expected to bunt, yep. so tell me a little bit about that. Uh, bunting is probably the... Easiest, well, not quite the easiest, but it's the least expected, I would say. It's a lot easier than a hit ball, and no one really, like, well, I guess they practice it, but we practice it a lot, and we use it to one of our strengths, and anytime we need a runner, if someone's on, we always can move them with the butt, and most of the time we get on, how, how much speed we have. So it helps us more than it hurts us. Yeah, I've been, I've been talking all year. You guys have one of the fastest outfields. Oh, my seen. gosh. Michael Richardson is incredibly flat, fast. It's crazy. Yeah. So that's definitely a luxury to have when you're yeah, when you're on the mound. So uh, uh, good job tonight. Uh, we also have Creighton Ray up. If if Creighton wants to get yeah. on the mic, good job, Logan, our thank first you, merchant you. star of the game tonight. Did a great job. Do you know your plans for for next year? Yeah, I'm going to UMass Lowell to play basketball. UMass? UMass Lowell. UMass Lowell to play basketball. Full so, ride Division One. Full ride Division One. Make sure you're watching out for Logan uh, next year. Check up on him in the stat sheet. I'm joined by Creighton. Another great job behind the plate, man. Thank you. Sir. I get to sit up here with your dad uh, for all the games. Get to hear him yell at you every time you mess up. So. No, I'm sure that's not a luxury. No. No, really. Um, I've been bragging about you a lot, and Coach brags a lot on his catchers. We haven't seen hardly any pass balls. Some of that's due to the pitchers putting it where it needs to be. But um, you you move your feet well uh, when there's a ball that hits the dirt or there's a wild one. So so good job. Uh, is coach is coach a little harder on the catchers than he is everybody else? Uh, a little bit. He holds just a higher standard, I think. But it's helping us out, making us better, and it helps the pitchers and gives them confidence in us. And yeah. The rest of the team. So. And we we been, we gave you uh, you were the co-player of the game. Uh, last game with the, the catcher from uh, Southwood as well. And you made a throw in that game, perfect throw down to second to uh, get a runner that was sleeping on second. Do you remember that play? Yeah, I do. Threw it right into Nolan's glove, right on his leg. Yeah, if he called it, I acknowledged and it just worked out just like Coach wanted it to. Good job, man. Um, that's, were you a part of that suicide squeeze? I don't think, who, was, who, who laid that down? Chase Ogle, was it Chase? Uh, we started bunting a lot, there's a lot of them. Um, Chase Ogle, I think, had the bunt down. Okay. Right now. And you were, you were you were the guy on third for that one. No? No, that was, no. no was. Okay, sorry, trying to uh, decipher my stat sheet here. But uh, we're with Creighton Ray, the catcher for the Tigers. Uh, Creighton, um, you got to be happy with how the season's going. You guys are 5-1 and one now, back-to-back uh, -back, uh, wins. So, good job. Uh, thank you. All right, we'll talk to the coach here. Yep, thank you. Pleasure having Creighton. Great job, good. Thanks, Coach. Always good to have the boys on. Yeah, they uh, played their tails off tonight. That's a good ball game. Two good pitchers. Uh, three or four college uh, uh, coaches here watching uh, a couple guys with, uh, on our team, one on there. So it's good atmosphere for, uh, for high school baseball. I know when they called the called the day. I said, hey, it's 41 degrees. I said, man, our rule is 32 degrees somewhere in Indiana. We yeah. play, so we practice in every day. So we're. We, we had no thought to getting rid of this game today. So uh, kids played hard. It was a good high school game and uh, two good teams locked up. Good. We were talking about um, yeah, you guys laid down a lot of bunts, probably four or five tonight, and probably attempted six or seven at one point. Uh, ran the suicide squeeze to perfection once. And for those of you not or who might not know what that is, Coach, go over what that is. Well, what we try to do is get a guy on third and less than two outs. Uh, and we're uh, going to take off as soon as the, the pitcher uh, lands his front foot. 
the guy that plays has got to bunt it no matter where it's at. And uh, we work every day and practice on it all the way through the lineup. And we put a lot of negatives on that when you can't bunt to baseball here. So um, the key to the game was on there. So we're going to have to take an extra base. We took two of them. If you notice, uh, Nolan Brimbury at third. And then the backside runner, we got two bases there. Uh, so the bunt game is going to be huge because this team is going to throw their one. You know, it's a credit to your program when you, every night out you start to see people's ones. And yeah. I think we went seven years here and never saw a two. But uh, <laughs> but what I would tell you is now we're starting to see those guys. So yeah. that's a that's a compliment to our kids. But you better be able to bunt the ball. And, and uh, when Primerano was on the mound, uh, he battled tonight. I just I love that kid. Love the family. Um, you can't do what we do without a tough catcher yeah. and uh, we got four of them in the program that work every day on blocking the ball and Creighton Ray is an example of uh, good things happen to kids who work hard, keep your mouth shut, play hard and uh, that's what he does and uh, just I, I heard Primerano complimenting him tonight he blocked about four with a guy on third and, yeah. and he said "Out of boy you have a way to keep blocking and, and those kids take pride in that so it's good team win tonight, good team win and uh, kids played well. So I noticed uh, not only is that a courageous call anytime in suicide squeeze, but there was two strikes on the batter. Did you realize? I was up yeah. here like, does coach realize there's two strikes? Yeah. We're, we're trying to lay down a bunt. We, we do it all the time in uh, practice, and we say uh, we will move runners and we will control our end. And if you can't do those things, you know, the, there's a lot of levels to baseball. Well, varsity baseball, um, we talk, we talk, we will prepare you to be successful in stressful situations. And uh, I have no worries with with any of the nine or even four sitting in the dugout uh, that they're able to do that. We do it every day with uh, 100 sit-ups or a yeah. mile sitting on the end of that one. So we do it, We do uh, do that under a lot more stressful situations than that. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. I was like, if you're going to bump with two strikes, you're going to have a lot of confidence yep. in your guys. And that comes, like you said, from doing it over and over yeah. in practice, just confidence. How about, how about that catch oh, boy, Michael by Richardson. Michael Richardson out in center? Uh, Michael is uh, just a fantastic athlete. He's a three-sport athlete. His older brother played for me, Matt. Uh, Matt is a tremendous three-sport athlete here, too. Uh, Dad, John, and uh, Don, a great, great athletic Peru family. But uh, when that ball was hit, we squeeze the metal, but we don't squeeze it as much when Michael and Logan are in center. And uh, you know what we talk about is all the balls that are doubles and triples go to the gap. And about 82% of the time, they go gap to gap. So we squeeze the metal, and we tell center, no ball is going to fall between you and the guy on the left. And we've got two athletes when you put uh, Primerano or Richardson. But Michael, uh, it's a different ball game. Yeah, he doesn't make that play. That and, and I had no concern that he wasn't going to make it because he does it every day in practice. He's done it here for a long time. So great kid. I love it again, Derek. Great things happen to those who work hard, keep your mouth shut, run on and off the field. And to see Michael, to see Creighton, to see Primerano, uh, to see the extra bases out of uh, Nolan and, uh, and uh, Trail Runner Ogle, to see suicide squeezes. When you get the type of pitching we have, that's who we have to be. And that was a that's a that pitcher was pretty tough. Today. Yeah, he was. Uh, so it was a good team win today. Yeah, um, uh, you talked about um, hitting being a concern for you. Yeah. Um, you know, with with your pitching staff and the way your guys field it, um, it it's easy to point to that. But tonight, um, timely hitting timely. and timely. Uh, defense as well, like we're talking about that catch from Richardson. There was two men on with an out um, in, the, in the seventh, and uh, he makes a diving play to save yeah. one run and probably a guy on you know second yeah, yeah. or possibly a third. Ball game. Yeah, and although you guys what got five, four hits on the night, yeah. four hits, you got four runs out of it. So yeah. timely hitting, um, that's what it's all and, about and in that, baseball. It was on the board tonight, Derek. It said we, you know, you're not going to get a lot of chances against guys like him. So you've got to be able to move the ball. You've got to bring leather. And then when you get your chances, when you call a squeeze, you got to get it down because yeah. you're not going to get your chances at that. Yeah. And, uh, and so we, uh, we took advantage of what we are prepared to do. And I was really proud of the kids because, um, you know, that we didn't get the key hit Saturday. And, and you lose the one-run game. Today you get them, and, and we got them last night. And the kids are rolling off a few wins now, and they're 5-1. and one. You get to go over to Logan Sport. And, and uh, you see four or five state championship banners hanging. I guarantee you the Tigers will be up for that game. And, and let's see how good we are against the Forays now. All right, Coach. Thanks for joining me. Yeah. Fantastic right. job covering the kids, uh, Derek. Appreciate your station and all you do. And, and our, our sponsors with uh, Papa John's, Beefle Brady's, uh, Lillian's, and Napa, and uh, Duke's. Appreciate all of them. Uh, you're supporting uh, Peru Community Schools and Peru Baseball. And uh, our kids and our community appreciate it. Yeah, let's do Duke's real quick before you get off. 
Um, any injuries to speak of? Is, well, is Michael okay after yeah. laying out for that one? Yeah, Michael's fine. Uh, we've had a little bit uh, with Nathan Kreischer still. We're protecting him. He's, he's normally a starter for us. We've set him the last few. He's got a sore uh, shoulder right now. We're letting heal. Uh, the catchers are beat up all the way through the program, but they're going to be through the state finals, so that's who we are. <laughs> And I saw a collision down here in the yeah. on deck circle, Creighton and the on deck hitter. I don't yeah. know if you saw that or not. They collided. And yeah, we had using uh, his linebacker skills yeah. coming out in baseball. Well, we're we're pretty healthy. We run a lot, stretch a lot, but uh, we're, we're hoping to get Nathan back pretty soon. Hopefully next week for conference, he's ready to go. Good. And I know you told me uh, Primrano was on a pitch count. Yeah, he was. Um, he was on an 80 pitch count. He threw 77 tonight, and uh, we do that all the way through first week of May. We'll turn them loose here in the conference a little bit, to about 90 maybe. But these guys have thrown since last fall. The kids that, uh, I, you know, our rule used to be, and it still is, uh, you have to throw in the fall in long toss. You have to throw bullpens all winter. We are on a progressive pitch count. We start at eight, and we work up to 82. Rich from Rano's on an 80 tonight, and that's, he got 77. So it's a good win for us. Awesome. Uh, this is Coach uh, Chuck Brinberry joining me on the post-game show. Great.